Hey everyone, and welcome to another run in the Binding of Isaac. I know I was saying that I was like for sure going to do a challenge run today, but I just really don't want to. I just have no desire to do challenge runs at the moment. They're coming back, I promise that, and it'll be sooner than later. It's just not today. Uh, I'm sorry for those of you who mind, but I am still building the list, and it's, it's already pretty long, so don't worry about that. When I'm ready to return, there there are plenty to do. Just uh, I just I just want to just play this game. I'm enjoying this game as it's intended to be enjoyed currently, and I mean that's just most of you support me in this anyway. You know you just want me to have fun, do what I want to do, because it does produce better content. I agree, but for those of you that mind, I'm really sorry. And. Uh, I mean, geez, it's already 11.30 p.m. and I wanted to get to bed by midnight, but I did not get anything done today. So, I promised Ratchet Deadlocked, Ratchet Deadlocked will be back. That will come today. I told you it was coming today, it is coming today. I'm gonna get that done, I'm gonna start the render, I'm gonna do other stuff I had to do today and just didn't. And I'm gonna get to bed at like, 2 in the morning. But that is my own fault. <laughs> I could have easily prevented this. <laughs> Anyway, on to this run. I played Kane because I had a couple requests for my next vanilla run to be Kane. So uh, Kane only has one eye, and that does affect the gameplay in some ways. Certain items. Uh, Kane's faster, stronger, has a bit less health, and starts with the Lucky Foot, which has a number of benefits, uh, including better pills. They're all going to be good or neutral, as well as um, improved gambling and the inability to lose on uh, fortune teller machines. It's very good and it has changed a, a few of my runs from failures to successes. And uh, in our first item room, we... ooh, that was close. We picked up Sad Onion, which uh, multiplied our tier delay by 0.7, which just means it, it, it improved our tiers by 30%. So that's pretty good. And yeah, a lot of people say doubles, not necessarily, not at all actually. It, it actually is a 0.7 multiplier. Uh, okay. Picked up 10 bombs, lost a half soul heart. It wasn't that great. And by the way, we have the Ace of Spades, which makes uh, tarot cards and playing cards 10% more likely to just drop and a 66% chance that one will drop from any given chest. <clears throat> so the Devil adds two damage, the same as the Book of Belial, on activation. Death significantly damages every enemy in the room. I don't know which one I want. Uh, I wish I had death here because I really hate fighting Claudies. Like, I really hate it. Anyway, uh, if you didn't see yesterday's Isaac run, I would very much recommend it. It was a very, very good, very exciting run. And uh, it's one of my favorites, just like uh, Persistence, which was uh, also a relatively recent vanilla run-wise, and, uh, excuse me, uh, The Revelation, which was a semi-recent challenge run. Just those are some of my favorite runs that I would recommend checking out if you like my content and haven't seen them, or if you're just in the mood for watching really great stuff. Like, it's mostly skill, and it's just some, some luck and uh, some some stuff. Anyway, I'm not taking Abel because Abel is garbage. Not worth... Uh, okay, so we're gonna do this. You guys are so proud of me right now, I already know it. If we get a key, we may as well run back to the shop. Because we have enough money and... Uh, can't be greed or anything. So maybe we'll pick up something awesome, if we do get another key, of course. Oh, uh, what was I saying? I was gonna say something, but I don't remember. So whatever. I've st I've still been playing like nonstop Animal Crossing because it's so fun. Just great. <laughs> it's so good. Hmm. <sighs> <clears throat> We're almost done with this floor. If we pick up the candle, well, we pick up the candle. Not much. I mean, it's so good. There's just never a reason not to take it. Yeah, alright. Here's the shop. May as well take this health. Because why not? I'm not 
Okay, we're not going to take Bum Friend because I want to still be taking my money for most of the game. We will take the Soul Heart, though. Not the bomb, we have plenty of bombs. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten many tarot, or not tarot cards, many uh, tinted rocks. By which I mean any tinted rocks, I don't think. <clears throat> so that kind of sucks. Uh, any damage will be 20% more with Kane. Just by the way, since I did say he has more damage, that's wise. Damage multiplier is 1.2. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright then. That was not, not a key that I was happy spending unfortunately. But you can't get lucky every time. We st we'll probably be able to be back to 15 cents by the next shop. The next shop also... Oh wait! Okay, the next shop probably cannot be Greed. But if it's uh, Caves XL or that other XL, Catacombs, then it can be Greed and that would be sad. So, uh, let's see. I have been... I stopped for a while, but I started again re-watching Breaking Bad. I finished Season 4, finally, and uh, I'm almost ready to watch Season 5 again. It's pretty, it's pretty good. I mean, I remember it. It's just, it's, it's good. But of course, Breaking Bad is, like, the best show on TV, whether or not it's my favorite. It's probably definitely the best. Dexter starts soon. I'm really excited for that. <clears throat> I, I'm just getting, like, stuff in my throat, and I don't know why. But that is life, I guess, right now. At least so far, my nose hasn't been itchy. I've probably jinxed myself for the rest of my life, but, you know, so far, that's good. We might get a deal with the devil here. I wouldn't put it past the game. Indeed. Uh, shot speed up? I'm not sure I'm going to take that. Uh, we would die if we took Spirit of the Night, unfortunately. And uh, Book of Belial is not worth half of my health. So I guess that's all we're going to do on this floor, I think, yeah. There's nothing else I really want to do. So we're on Caves 1, like I was saying, then we cannot have greed in this shop, which is nice, so we'll probably go to this shop, because as long as we get a key, all is well. Well, an extra key, that is. We did pick up a cube of meat. My lip is itchy, that's different. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. Uh, we did pick up a cube of meat, which rotates around us, blocking enemy tiers and damaging enemy, any enemy it comes into contact with. It also stacks with later cubes of meat to do awesome stuff. Like I said, 66% chance of pills, or tarot cards, from chests. Uh, the Empress, pretty good. It's uh, damage up as well as speed up. It's uh, the Whore of Babylon, but stronger. You get more damage from it. Since it is only temporary. Uh, yeah, you know, we could die at any one moment here, but I would like a key very badly. Game didn't quite oblige me at all. Two of hearts doubles our filled health, so basically it was just a full recovery in that case. Uh, my nose has started to itch. Super Envy. Oh, that blows. Use the devil here. I'd rather not I had to deal with this. Uh, by the way, I'm sure a few of you, at least, I have to scratch my nose some more. A few of you miss Super Meat Boy, and it's coming back tomorrow. It's, it is. Um, unless Jared can't edit that fast, but we're gonna do like a mad recording binge, and we're gonna get we're gonna get it done. Cause he's actually leaving in like a week, so we need to get the series finished. He needs to have time to edit it all, and then I've just got to upload it. So we're gonna do recording binges as often as possible until we're done with the series. No clue how long that is going to take, but, uh, I mean, it's mostly my fault that we haven't gotten further in it, so, um, sorry about that. Yeah, okay. We good there? Surprisingly, we handled Super Envy really well. We did get the attack fly, which I will take. We got a pill, which, again, can't be bad. Speed up, kind of bad. I mean, it's not what's classified as a bad pill, but it's not an effect that I at all have any desire for. Speed up is a negative for me. I don't like or need speed. It causes me to get hit more than it saves me from getting hit. But whatever. We'll make do. Forever alone, the attack fly rotates around as a long distance, by the way. It does pretty reasonable damage. I'm not upset about the pickup. 
And, I mean, if you play around it, you can definitely get a lot done with it. Like, a lot done. I would like a key. It's not a key. I need I need two keys, really. I want to go to both the item room and the shop, because I've got more than enough money for the shop. Uh, we're just going to wait for this rotation yet again. There we go. I think there is enough accessible health that we're going to go to this curse room. Yeah. And hope for the best. Because curse rooms are pretty great. Bombs and spiders. Okay. Well, it wasn't worth it that time. But in general, it's totally worth it. There's a half heart. That's really all I need to feel confident enough. If I don't get a key here... Uh, okay. This is how we're doing that one. Kane does start with less range, by the way, so we, we want to get range ups. Which Cat and Nine Tails kind of was, but it wasn't at the same time. We are going to go in here, and this is going to be the secret room, and it's going to have a slot machine. Bob's Rotten Head. Well, we don't have a spacebar item, so we may as well be taking it. It's just a throwable bomb. that does poison damage as well. So, you know, it's, it's, good, and it's good and all that. See? Look, it did a bunch of damage in the poison. Of course, triply powerful against Chubb. Wow, it lasted long enough to kill him. We might get a deal with Devil. No, we didn't. We get a health up. And I don't think there's anything I can do. I really don't think I can do anything to get to go to this shop or item room. That's never a good sign. All right, I, I know we're not fast enough. But if you're fast enough, you can glitch through doors that are closed. Uh, but I don't think you can get to that speed in the game without Cheat Engine. So, yeah. I, I can't do anything. We're stuck with what we have. I don't have any ingenious ideas. Uh, high Priestess is Mom's Foot. Not I thought it was the Empress, but it's Mom's Foot because it's a High Priestess. The Empress is Whore of Babylon. But I said the Empress, I just didn't realize it was High Priestess. Whatever, I am just tired, I guess. I'm, I don't even feel tired, I'm just acting like I'm tired. Sorry guys, at least I didn't explain the wrong thing right or the right thing wrong, you know? I explained the wrong thing right. I, I explained... Oh god. The thing I explained was correct. But it wasn't the thing I was supposed to explain. Okay, skeleton key. That is the removal of all our concern for keys. Because even if we got a bombs or key pill, I don't care at all. Because I've got 14 bombs, which means that's more than enough keys as well. And 99 bombs, not generally that useful for me. So I hope we don't get bombs or key, but if we do, it's not, not the worst thing that's ever happened. I would very, very much like some damage, though. That's, that's the real thing here. Yeah, okay. Take your time. Good job. Great. Okay, what's this? The hermit teleports us to the shop, no question. Treasure map, absolutely. Treasure map shows us the full map without showing us what any of those rooms are. Shows us the secret room and not the top secret room. I'm good with that. Uh, I think that the item room is going to be in the top right, but I'm still going to go this way. So, uh, you know, we'll see. It could also be the room next to the secret room, and if it were, uh, I would have the uh, privilege of bombing my way into it. So we'll see if that happens. I don't need that key whatsoever. It isn't. It is, in fact, a curse room, which I'm definitely going to visit, even though I don't have the health to recover. Uh, base cane, not actually that bad at this point in the game because I mean we are rocking base damage mm, better tiers base everything else kind of well higher speed so that's a detriment still we were bound to get something good I was hoping for pills I really am just hoping for pills uh, so that sucks but we still did get a soul heart out of it this is the boss whom I may as well fight since I'm here, haven't gone to the Room of Secrets yet. I'll make sure to do that. Fistula. Alright. Here's the strategy. I was hoping that I'd timed that just a tiny bit better. 
so that uh, I hit it right when it split so that it kind of blew everything up at once. Would have been super nice. But I'm clearly kind of tired right now. Or at least my gameplay and uh, <laughs> noticing stuff ability is clearly not on par with normal. Health up, no complaints. Come on, keep going. Ooh. There's a yawn, but yawning is my hobby, so uh, don't don't take that like that. Let's see what's in the secret room. Slot machine. I didn't actually mean to play that, but whatever. Let's just leave. Still don't need the key. Didn't get the deal with the devil that I wanted. That's really all I wanted. But doesn't doesn't help me. Wanting isn't the same as having. Oh, terrible damage that I didn't want to take. Of course I don't don't want to take it, didn't want to take it, but I did because because uh, uh, sometimes sometimes execution is not where it needs to be. Oh, well, that that is one such time. It's funny I can probably win with Blue Baby and not with Kane. See what this is: the Chariot, Invincibility, Contact Damage, and uh, 0.28 Speed Up. Mom's bra is not a bad item, but I think I'm gonna stick with the. Uh... Okay, the bra is better than the pad. I'm gonna take that. Yes, and I'm gonna take this because I can. It freezes enemies. I don't know for how long, but it's usable every three rooms. Pretty good. They they're about to yeah, mobilize once again. Just just chill and die. Chill and die. What could this be? I was expecting two of spades, honestly, which would have been useless because we couldn't possibly benefit from doubling our keys. But it was actually just the two of clubs, which was good because now we have tons and tons of bombs. Of course, of course. Cooperate a little less with the timing I need you to. Uh, one bomb for two. No questions asked. And uh, we will go to the arcade just to check if it is a fortune teller that's in there. Because if it is, we absolutely want to visit that because we can't lose. So we get good trinkets, tarot cards, soul hearts, and that's it. Yeah, there you go. Darn. Darn. Mega darn. Just wanted to play it once, see what happened. Yep, nothing. Oh, the nose, it's getting bad again. As as I jinxed into existence, basically. I wish I could go back to the previous floor to go to that extra item room and shop. Because that could have changed the game. But unfortunately, we're not in such a position. And I'm Yanni. Still, on to the Depths or Necropolis 1. Hopefully the Depths, or maybe XL, you know, just Depths, not Necropolis. It is the Depths, and we spawned next to the Secret Room. So, we fight Greed, which means Greed isn't in the shop. I don't really need anything from that fight, so there's no reason to do it. I don't need the money, I don't need the Steam Sale. This legitimately has no end rooms right here. That's pretty disappointing. Ah. So I'm gonna refrain from promising any challenge runs at any specific times. Like I can say, oh yeah, probably tomorrow, but I said there would be one today and there wasn't, and I don't want to do that again. So I'm just gonna say challenge runs will be back when they will be back, but they will definitely be back in the near future. These are just way more fun. They really are. Okay, let's see if we can get that to happen. Perfect. Don't... D okay, thank you. Now you're, Whoa, you just survived that? How you do that? See what this is? The tower spawns some troll bombs about the room. Doesn't really matter to me to keep. Stick with the High Priestess. The foot really does do a lot of damage. I just want to put that out there. Uh, okay. We've got more money than we need. 
This is probably going to be the boss. Just, like, watch that happen. Fair warning, basically. Great. Now I kill you and you. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, nose. I hate you, Nose. Yep, indeed it is the boss. We will fight the boss right away, because why not? Like I said, you can use the attack fly well. And it's very good when you do. But, oh my god, I hate my nose. War. Darn it, I took a hit there. Okay, we're gonna focus on using the attack fly here while war is uh, frozen. And you see that with good use, it does really good damage. Oh, war, glitch over the rock, no problem. We'll get our second cube of meat, which will uh, maintain the functions of the first one, but also shoot along with us. So that's really good. Uh, I would love to take both the pact and, in fact, the uh, brimstone. But I'm going to take the pact, and I'm going to see, I'm going to take brimstone. And if we can make this work, awesome. If not, that's kind of to be expected. Impact increased our damage by 0.5 and our tiers by, I believe, 0.4. I believe. Check the cheat table if uh, you want to know for sure. Brimstone multiplied our damage by 3 and gave us this chargeable, well, mandatory charge laser. He's, you know, he's a pretty good guy. Still, I don't think that it compensates enough. We don't have enough damage, is my belief at this point in time. I could be wrong, maybe our damage is fine, but I couldn't really tell there, it, it seems lacking. Of course we are now in a situation where we have only soul hearts and uh, no red hearts, no hope, etc. But good gameplay can bring us through this. The Razor. That's not very helpful. It would synergize well with the Polaroid, as I said last time, and was about to set up and then didn't. But I don't think it's worth taking. I really don't see it benefiting us unless we happen to get lucky and pick up a ton of soul hearts right now. Because other than that, it's not going to help us at all. Okay. Didn't really need that. But here's our shop, which again, we know already is not greed which is important. So we'll probably, hopefully, be able to buy a soul heart. Maybe we'll be able to buy the candle. Maybe we'll be, be able to buy the compass. The world probably more valuable to us. All right, this is one of the few situations where I'm definitely taking Book of Revelations. There's no reason to buy that key. There's really not. Is the world more valuable than the High Priestess? I actually think not, because I can generally interpret the map and figure out, yeah, this is probably going to be so-and-so room and yeah so uh, there's no reason not to use the book of revelations right now basically it gives us a soul heart once every six rooms and it also guarantees that we'll fight a horseman if possible on that floor all right curse of darkness that sucks but you know at least we know the world would have been useless so we can't see the map if you were unaware Compass, be the compass. It's uh, health up. I'm not going to say no at my current health condition. This could be a boss challenge room. I'm not entirely sure yet. Well, no. Actually, yes, I am. What am I talking about? Of course I'm sure already. I wouldn't be fighting a boss if this were a normal challenge room. Just did that the lazy way, because I just didn't want to fight Peep for so long. I didn't. We're on Necropolis, which sucks, but at least we had the depths last time. Okay, we do one-shot Chubbers, which is, uh, that's, that's a promising feature. <laughs> and, alright, you guys, we still one-shot, because I think that they have the same health. Oh my goodness, my nose. Why do you keep doing this to me? The Binding of Isaac's fault. No, I mean, I actually think that it's just because I'm speaking into this pop filter and it, it just 
all the air is redirected right back in my nose a lot of the time, causing this to happen. But it's quite unpleasant, and I wish it wouldn't. Darn it! Also darn it. This is... my nose is getting ridiculous. So, so very ridiculous. Okay, that's good. That's good. FML, man. FML. It would be great if we were to run into the shop or item room. We know that the shop doesn't have greed because the secret room on the last floor had greed. So basically we got lucky enough where we could have gone to every single shop if uh, we had the opportunity. Unfortunately we didn't. But now we do. We can go to the shop for sure. And maybe we'll pick up something valuable to our success. Maybe we won't. Uh, a battery, 9 volt, habit, those would all be definite pickups. Candle is um, more questionable than usual due to my health situation. And for once I might actually not do it. I don't know. Compass would be nice. Oh, another High Priestess. Oh, Whore of Babylon, okay. That would increase our damage and speed should we get down to half of a red heart or no red hearts, which, I mean, if I get the opportunity to make another deal with the devil, I'll totally do it now. Because any extra damage is good with brimstone, even though it would only be 1.5. In the room it's activated, it's, uh, like, 2.44 or something, I don't know. 2.36 maybe, it, it's something in there. And, uh, with... With the Empress card, it's even more. Anyway, we're finding the shop because the shop is pretty valuable to me. Could make or break this run, sort of. And for once, I don't want the candle. I'm not taking a speed up under any circumstances. I wasn't sure if we'd one-shot him. We didn't. Uh, curse room. Doing it. I was kind of hoping for a guppy item. Unfortunately, it's the first of, you know, unlikely that we're getting three, basically. Still, if we get the chance at dead cat, I might have to take it. Uh, this is absolutely worth it after we check the shop, which is the candle, which I did say we weren't going to take, actually, because I think that we need the Book of Revelations to survive this time. It's not that good because we have to avoid taking damage every six rooms. But you know what? This might work out for us. Okay, what I need to do is use up a nice bomb so that I have another route of access to this thing. If we get a lot of soul hearts, it might be worth taking the candle because the candle is definitely better, in my opinion, than the Book of Revelations. And I know that many people disagree. But with the way this is turning out, it's totally doable. Ooh, Curved Horn, that's two damage up. That's huge damage. I don't really want to take the time to check that tarot card, just because of the whole trinket dance I'd have to do. Ah, <sighs> trinkets. Okay, just get out of my way please. Oh, what are you? Justice, four pickups. We got lucky enough to get a soul heart. Usually it's a normal heart, but it follows the same chances, which unfortunately we don't have any increase on. Darn it. I don't want this. Okay. Crystal ball. Could be better, honestly. Oh, gosh darn it. Uh, than the Book of Revelations. Ag oh, we don't have enough money now. So we're sticking with the Book of Revelations. Uh, the reason that the Crystal Ball could be better is it can drop a Soul Heart. It's reusable every six rooms. Shows you the full map, and I don't want another level Meat Boy, which is kind of why I might take the Crystal Ball if I did, but I, I think I'm going to stick with the Book of Revelations anyway. I'm going to hope to get a chance to get rid of um, this one Red Heart, because now that we have a bunch of Soul Hearts, due to the Lucky Foot, of course, making us win every time, on Fortune Teller Machines, like I said earlier, we're not in the best of places. I didn't expect to be right there, that's for sure. If we summon Mom's Foot to help us out here, it'll stomp on us, I'm pretty sure. 
So we're gonna not do that, because of course we're in the mom fight. What, what else would it do? All right, let's get this going. Wait for something to spawn. Otherwise, why not just wait here? All right, there is like a gaper or a chase or whatever it's called. I thought I'd get it in time. That was unfortunate. All right, this fight's about to end. Because this eye, yep, gets itself killed. See the box, gives us one of every type of pickup. Two of clubs, once again doubling our bombs. Doesn't matter that I took that late. Uh, telepills, oh goodness, that's actually really good. So now we have a chance to go to a deal with the devil if we earned one, which we probably should have, honestly. If we did, it's gone. We need to take the Polaroid, of course, to continue with our lives. That's it, let's go. It could be on the far right, it could be on the bottom left. I'm gonna go with the far right first. It seems more likely in my opinion. My professional opinion. I don't know, we can make this work. Oh, darn it. Okay, that's gonna be fine. Gonna be good. We good. We get a Book of Revelations charge next room, that's good as well. We one-shotted one of them, or maybe that was uh, the meat ball doing a, an extra hit for us. I think it was. So we're gonna fight death as our boss. Which, you know, that's not terrible. I'm really just hoping for a deal with the devil for one heart, though. Because that would... That would really make this run. Into a doable run. Because instead of... Ah, oh, darn it. Instead of being able to get hit a bunch, we get hit, and each time we get five seconds of invincibility from the Polaroid, which would just... That would change everything. I'm tired of these freaking sights. Phew. Sorry, might have blown in the mic there. I think I have to cough, which is odd, because I'm totally normal fine right now. Stay away. You're an annoyance. Stop it. Dead. Okay, that's good. We get two full red hearts, which are pretty useless. I'm surprised how quickly that died. We don't want that, really. The mark. How could you? I mean, I want to take it, but it's not at all worth it. Is it? We'd be at one soul heart, which really, really doesn't help. If I hadn't used Book of Revelations, we might have gotten another boss, gotten a health up, and been able to take that. Oh, but we're survivable right now, and that's more important than the damage and speed we'd be able to get, unfortunately. Let's get out of here. I prefer second level Meat Boy to third level Meat Boy, which is why I didn't take that cube of meat. Yeah, I'm upset with the way that turned out, but I really, there was no reason to take that deal. There wasn't. Besides to be flashy, basically. Like, there's a point when it's just risk and not reward. That was one of those times, in my opinion. Because we'd have, we wouldn't have gotten the Polaroid invincibility because we would have had very little health. I couldn't have guaranteed that we wouldn't get hit up until the time where we get uh, Polaroid, or uh, Book of Revelations charge so that we could get hit again without dying. And mostly, oh god. Oh, uh, uh, but. Mostly, it just... Oh, darn it. Darn it. I don't know where I was going with that mostly. That's what the moral of the story is. Although, knowing that this arcade was here would have possibly helped if it is, in fact, Fortune Teller. Which is not, but... Watch this. Oh, darn it. Why you gotta do this to me? Why do I win when I don't want to win? I'm gonna win this too, just watch. Okay, so now... Okay, we need to do it again. There's a chance of that being the other thing. So we leave... Maybe we, it needs to be a black fly, so we need to play this one for a black fly. We could also get a pretty fly or two, that would be nice. Anyway, we want to back off as far as possible, just in case. That's a speed up, I don't want it. 
Don't want to kill the fly by accident. Uh, that's not. That's telepills. No thank you. I will pass on your kind offer. I mean, we are taking this chance. Oh, gosh. Okay. We're still safe. I mean, I could use the telepills, and it could benefit me, but it also just, it could also not. Darn it! Alright, here's what we're doing. As long as we don't play it again, we don't get that health back. If I had kept playing that with my invincibility, I would have regenerated that half heart. But now we have Horde Babylon active, and we have invincibility from a Polaroid for every hit. So that was uh, that was a good decision. Alright. The reason I left the room there is because it makes my bomb have a larger blast radius, which is pretty cool, actually. Interesting thing that uh, a lot of people don't know, understandably. We do want to save the High Priestess for Isaac. Oh, darn it. Mistimed horribly. Remember, our damage isn't that drastically higher, it's just, it's higher at all, which is what we need right now. And once Monstro dies, hopefully this hit. Oh, not even before that. Oh, darn it, I got stuck. Get that, get that. This is a very, for oh my gosh, you're cheating. A very formulaic fight. Run back and forth, placing bombs, shooting, depending on your setup. Oh, almost didn't make that one. And yes, we made it. So we don't have to fight Chubb. We can just ignore Chubb and let either the heart kill it itself or just, you know, let nothing happen. Because it'll just die when we kill the heart, assuming we kill the heart, which uh, I think is a reasonable assumption. Since, uh, you know, five seconds of invincibility every time we get hit. Yeah, we good. Uh, we're totally fast enough. Let's try this again. I don't think I made it in time. Oh, this is a tough call. It could be all the way to the left here, but I'm willing to bet it's under the secret room, actually. I'm still going to take this chance. Oh, no. I wanted to... Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, nope. Nope. There we go. Darn you. Lokis. Okay. I feel like that explosion probably did more than my brimstone would have. Actually, maybe not. I'm surprised that Loki didn't die there. Anyway, every room we do is a small advantage in that we get a sixth of a soul heart, essentially, from our Book of Revelations gaining a charge. So at least there's that small upside. Challenge room, I would be crazy not to check it, but I don't want to open the golden chest to fight three bosses, when likely the golden chest won't contain anything that I want. Uh, oh, okay. Alright, we started in a, an opportune position so we can actually use the pro strat on this faster monster right, 2 right from the start, monster 2. Uh, we want to use the high priestess against Isaac. My forehead is itchy, my nose is itchy. Recording just ruins my face. If I have bad facial hygiene, it's your guys' fault. Don't do this to me. Oh, cool, free soul heart drop. Love when that happens. We don't have anything to boost our soul heart drops, so uh, that's just pure luck right there. By the way, the, the boss pretty much has to be there, and we can actually bomb our way in. We just can't bomb our way out. Alright, these widows, they can jump on each other if we're uh, lucky and skillful. Oh no! See? They actually jumped on each other simultaneously. Long as Greed's not in here. Oh, we want to play this as much as possible. Soul Hearts galore. We could run into the tick, though, which would uh, very much inconvenience us because it's kind of directly in the way of where we want to go. I just want Soul Hearts, though. That's all I want, man. Can't really get that one. I can get this one. I got that one as well. Every one is five seconds of invincibility. We definitely have no reason not to play this. We've got to play it. We will start bombing things. Oh, okay. So right now, we uh, run up here, bomb like that. And the goal was just to get everything away, not to open the secret room. Oh, you can't bomb in. Okay, so what I was thinking of 
is if you have... My damage shouldn't be that high. Or I guess the health is that low. Uh, if you have um, x-ray vision, that will be open until you enter the boss room and then it'll close. Alright, so I think we're going to be able to handle Isaac. We do one-shot the angelic babies, that's, that's a good thing. Nickel, not even a little bit worth it, but I did it anyway because I'm crazy. Alright, high priestess. Alright, we get in here. Do some nice brimstoning. Oh, that bomb didn't do at all what I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this is a good setup for Isaac. Brimstone in general is. Just because it's short bursts of higher damage rather than repeated fire. Because repeated fire is bad because the more you shoot at Isaac, the more he shoots back at you. Which, of course, means the more you get hit, generally. So this is great. This will be fine. Phase 3 will begin very shortly, probably next hit. As if on cue. Alright, now we just play the dodge slowly and generally wait game. Put a little bit of our priority on the angelic babies. Just because they are now the bullet hell rather than Isaac himself. Oh, that was amazing. Alright. The less we get hit, the better, of course, always. Eh, okay. I'm amazed that that managed to hit both. But there we go, that's that fight done. We go to the chest. Somewhat surprisingly. Uh, Halo Flies is amazing. Technology 2 wouldn't be. It would just lower our damage by 35%. Monster Manuel, no. Toothpicks is just a shot speed up, so that's not at all useful either. I'm pretty sure I know exactly where the boss is, so that's where we're headed. Hopefully Greed isn't in the secret room. By the way, Halo Flies gave us two orbital flies, which block enemy tiers and uh, do damage to fly-type enemies. So that's pretty sweet. It is Greed. Darn it, we have to go the long way. It's always a sad moment. Alright, this is, this is good. Darn it. This is the Gertie that can't shoot at us. So why use a bomb? Because I have 60 of them. Like, there's no reason not to use a bomb. Or, like, 20, honestly. See? Now we're done. Oh, oh I lied. Now we're done. I stopped lying. Uh, Alright, the Wretched is pretty much exactly the same as the Widow. They can jump on each other as well, which would be of nice help to us. See? What nice dudes. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. I can't afford to take too much damage, of course, but I do have a full orbital now, so I will take as little damage from enemy tiers as possible. And flies won't be too much of a problem, because they'll just die as they approach me in general. That is always nice. Uh, this is the Gertie that can shoot us, and I just so poorly did that that I just walked into getting hit, which is uh, generally a bad strategy, I would I would say. So try not to do that. Really? Get one soul heart back, which, you know, makes up for the one we lost, I guess. Uh, this room kind of sucks, because unfortunately spiders don't count as flies, so our pretty flies don't damage it. Only our cube of meat will. Uh, we'll get a soul heart for this room, but the question is, will we lose one in the process of getting one? I did intentionally kill that fly with my orbitals. I didn't intentionally kill that Gertie Jr. with my orbitals, though. Nope, stay away! Stay away. Alright, so we get the soul heart. No, no negatives there. If the boss isn't this way, I'm actually gonna, like, cry. Okay, so we don't want... We want to kill Gluttony... And, um, okay, that's half the battle. We want to kill Lust last, basically. And we've succeeded, which means that we might possibly, hopefully, get Poison Touch, which would win us this game. All right, game over. We win. Always nice. Uh, I'm just going to tank on in here. Uh, maybe I should play it a little more careful. Since we do have the orbitals, we can stay alive uh, a lot better. But when we do get hit, 
we can get in there, do poison damage, and damage over time. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's use Meat Boy to shoot that bomb in. That didn't work as well as I expected and planned and stuff. But, oh well. Ah, yeah, we're gonna win. Eh, hey, careful, man. Careful, man. Nope, stop it. Angelic babies. Alright, whatever. Poison time. Poison time. Alright. Uh, I didn't intend to be tanking there, but then it happened. I think we're okay, though. I honestly, I don't think that this game can stop us at this point. Oh. Alright. That was a little close, but not entirely. It wasn't as exciting as a couple of the other runs I've had, but anyway... I will be returning to Challenge Run soon. I don't know when exactly, because after not living up to this one, I just don't want to. Uh, I don't want to promise and not be able to keep it. But regardless, please leave your custom Challenge Run suggestions in the comments and I'll do the ones that I like the most or think would be the most entertaining to watch. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.